Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the best of Maybelline in my opinion. So these are going to be Maybelline makeup products that I think are the best in my opinion. So there's tons of Maybelline makeup, obviously, like every brand has so much makeup. But I have a select few of Maybelline products that I think work best and I think that are worth the money. The only thing I don't have is a Maybelline foundation. I think that's all I don't have because I have not found a good foundation from that brand that I like. So I've tried the Maybelline uh, Poreless one. I forget the full name of that one, but that did not work out for me. Um, so I kind of just threw that away a long time ago, and I don't think I ever did a review on it. So the few products that I have are 13 products. Number one is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So this guy right here. Um, I've talked about this so many times. This has been out forever. I swear by this. It really does help your pores. I usually just put it in my T-zone, in my nose, in my chin, and on my forehead, wherever I have large pores, and it really helps get rid of them. So I recommend this. It's really cheap. All this makeup is relatively cheap, so it's really easy to get. And I will have this all linked in the description box below if you're interested. Number two is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, which I have two of. These are amazing. These literally last forever. I have 20 Electric Pink, which is right here. And then I have 15 Pink Charge. So I will swatch these on my hand. So number one, I love this applicator and the color of this. These are so pretty for, for summer and spring. Like, look how beautiful that is. Anyone could pull these colors off considering they're so bright. And this one is a really, really bright pink. They're really, really nice. Like, I can't believe how good quality these are. Like, that's only one swipe of those. These have been out for a while as well. And I love the applicator. They're really sturdy and nice. And I still have two full tubes of this, and I've used these a lot. So here's the two colors swatched. These are definitely worth the money. I will link both the colors that I have if you're interested. They have a few different colors, obviously. So number three is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Concealer. Everybody has literally talked about this so many times. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. It really does help conceal any aging that you might have. So this is probably geared towards more like older people, but young people use it too. So who really cares? Um, I use it and I don't really care that I'm not old. So I really like using this underneath my eyes because I have really dark circles underneath my eyes. And you just twist it up. And there's a nice soft sponge tip that you just put under your eye and apply it like that. And then I go in and I use my beauty blender to blend it out. So that is another favorite. Number four is Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I've talked about this so many times as well. This is an amazing mascara. This literally gives your eyelashes a false effect. And I absolutely love the wand. I love the inside, how it scoops. That way you can really like get in and really scoop your lashes up. I'm actually almost out of this, which kind of sucks, but I will get more when I run out completely. So this is the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. That's supposed to make your eyes look fanned out, which is what they do. Which is what the product does, not they. So, number five, Maybelline Master Camera Color Correcting Pens. Now, I didn't buy these. I got them sent to me. And these are the correcting pens from Maybelline. So I have 50 corrector. What am I reading? Okay, no, apricot and the color apricot. I was reading the crayon corrector. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the color. <laughs> this is in the color apricot. So this is for, let me see. For, this is for dark circles, and then this is for redness. So I use both of these. I absolutely love these. Um, I will say that this is a little bit harder to use. If you haven't used color correctors, I don't recommend buying them right away. I Actually, obviously, you need to buy them to play around, but buy a cheaper version of this. Go with something that's like, like dollar store. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, but I recommend um, practicing before you use these because these can be tricky to use because they're a pigment going onto your skin and like the orange one can rather be hard to blend out, especially underneath your eyes. It can be a really, really orange cast. So number six, Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder. So this is my favorite setting powder to set underneath my eyes. After I'm done with my foundation, I love using this to bake as well. So it's just a translucent setting powder. 
and this was kind of pricey it was like about ten dollars has a little sifter which is really nice so i definitely recommend this number seven baby lips everyone has heard about this i've had this for a long time i use it when i'm in a pinch to go out this is the crystal one i absolutely love this it smells and tastes so good so baby lips highly recommend obviously everyone uses that still i think number eight maybelline the nudes palette i haven't gotten to use this that much but this is the maybelline blush nudes palette the eyeshadow palette and i'll swatch a few of these for you guys so here is this purpley shade right here um, I have so many eyeshadows, I forget about some of them. I will do this, like, brownish shade. I think I've done a review on this already. Um, I will do this green. Okay, so here's some of the shades. Really nice. That's one swipe of each shade in this palette. This is a beautiful palette. It's really nice for any season, really. And it's really affordable. I think this was only, like maybe ten dollars i'm not really sure but i'll have it linked in the description box below all these products i'm pretty sure you can still find so you shouldn't have a problem so number nine is the maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter this is something that i recently discovered i use this a lot more than i use any other highlighter this is the maybelline master chrome by face studio metallic highlighter and i have this in the color Molten Rose Gold. So this is a rose gold highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Of course, I'll swatch it. That's just one swipe. Let's see. This is how it looks like. They have a couple different colors of this. Um, really nice drugstore highlighter for the price. I think this is only like nine bucks. So yes, I highly recommend this. This is a newer product. Um, 10. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. I've talked about this a lot as well. This is just an eyebrow palette. Honestly, I hate doing brows, but this is a really nice brow palette. It comes with the wax, the, um, the powder, and then it comes with the brow highlight, and then it comes with some brushes. So this is definitely worth it as well. This is about $10 maybe. Like I said, I'll have them all linked down below so you guys can check them out. Number 11, Maybelline Master Bronze and Highlight Palette. Highlight Kit. So again, this I didn't buy. I got this sent to me. This is a Maybelline Master Bronze Bronze and Highlight Kit. So it, there's one highlighter, and I believe there's three different types of bronzer. So there's a light one right here, and there's two dark ones. So I'll swatch this as well. This is the highlight. Here's the highlight. This is like a golden highlight. Here's the second bronzing shade, which kind of looks like a blush almost, right there. Right there, and then the more orangey shade, which would not work well for my skin, is right here. This one, which is right here. And last but not least is this really really brown shade which is right here so this is a really nice palette if you're into bronzing and highlighting as well so i can't remember how much this costs but it still is out it's probably about ten dollars or more they tend to get expensive when they go into the palettes so there's two more things and the last two things are the maybelline icy glow eye and face palette now this is something that you might have trouble finding but i have found it on amazon so this is a old um, holiday launch and I've literally got makeup all over my hands, getting it everywhere. So this is an eye and face palette. Now I absolutely love this palette. It is eyeshadows and then highlighters on the bottom. Now let me swatch some of these and show you how amazing this palette is. So this blue one right here, look how pigmented that is. And I will do some arm swatches. So I'll do that one. I'll do the blue, like the sparkly blue, right above, right next to that. So here's just two shades from this palette. And I will swatch some of the highlighters. So here's a highlight right here. 
you cannot go wrong with this palette if you guys still see this definitely pick them up pick it up it's definitely worth the money um and they're just so pretty so here's all three of the highlighters on my arm if you can see that if you can't i'm really sorry but these are beautiful i do not know if i've done a review on this yet but i'm definitely going to eventually but yeah so i definitely recommend this this is really cheap it's only like nine dollars on amazon now so definitely recommend that last but not least is the maybelline color tattoo eye chrome and i only have one of these and i have it in the color gilded rose just like a little looks like a concealer tube but it's actually a eyeshadow so i will swatch this right here on my knuckle right there and they have a bunch of different colors in this too so this was about nine dollars so here's all the swatches of everything that i talked about I'm telling you guys this stuff is really worth the money hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions about the stuff that i talked about or you recommend any foundation from the from Maybelline, then that'd be nice. Because I kind of want to get in the foundation more. Because I only have a few, but the thing is with liquid products, they expire faster than powder. So I like to keep those at a minimum. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.